Hello everybody, this is Cyril Burke and I'm joined today by Adele. Adele is one of our new nest practitioners in Western Australia and uh, Adele's, Adele's going to share with us how she's got on since the trial in February. So hello Adele. Hi Cyril, how are you? I'm good. Um, thanks very much for joining us today. Now, I'm, I'm really delighted with what you've been able to do and I'm, I'd really love to share it with the practitioners globally because um, back in February you were speaking to us about the trial and you did the 30-day trial and since then there's been a meteoric change in your clinic and what's happening around you and I just thought it would be great for people to hear how things have grown. So. Please just uh, share with us what your clinic was like before and what process you used to go through and, and then how, how the Nest system has resonated with you and your clients and, and how you've been able to apply it. Yeah, so thanks. Thanks very much. So I think um, in the very beginning I, had, I was very qualified in a lot of alternative body work and a fully qualified body talk practitioner. So I had a huge amount of skills with Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, um, acupressure points, all sorts of things, and um, the, I had great need to find those out for family members as well as in clinic, and so I had a great lot of success. But one of the things I always wanted was something where people could actually see what I was doing um, on a, I guess, on a screen or some way of being able to access for more confirmation for the client. And even though clients were very happy, um, it was just a steady flow of clients. So. Um, Ness came into our space back in February and I did the trial for the four weeks and um, in that four week period um, I was delighted to be able to show people how their body energy field um, was being assessed by Ness computer system um, by simply putting the hand on a scanner and then that information is fed into the computer and it spits out a a lovely report that basically gives you so much um, knowledge, um, and the, and you can briefly explain it to the the client. Sometimes clients wanted to know the details, and sometimes they didn't. But just according to their needs, um, we then went through with whatever they asked for. So, for example, there's a lot of body work markers on there from a Chinese um, medicine with Ayurvedic sort of principles um, layered behind that. And so I guess a lot of that was very, very helpful and we got some results very, very quickly, even in the first week or two. Uh, so by the end of the, the month, um, we had a lot of changes in many, many clients. And that, that was enough for you to be convinced it was something you wanted to do? Um, now, you went, you went on, got the subscription to start with, didn't you? I did. And at that stage, I didn't have a My Health device. Um, I was very much just, you know, um, making do with what I had and then the My Health device came I think after a month of um, subscribing um, and so even without that at that early stage I was still getting some great results but when I bought the My Health device in um, I think I doubled the results with that. That's wonderful to hear. So a lot of practitioners who are just using um, Infoceuticals obviously get great results. But um, when you add the My Health, as you say, it uh, one and one doesn't make two when it comes to results when you put them together, does it? It really does accelerate it. Yeah, I think you, I always like to take things back to basics. It's like a car. You can have the engine and the four wheels. But if you don't have a steering wheel, there's no point in having any of that. And I think Ness is the same. Often people will say to me, I just want to do the infoceuticals and I don't want to do the body work and or they'll do, I want to do uh, body work and no infoceuticals and I will explain to them, you know, the same thing. It's, it's like a cake, for example, don't put the eggs in, it's a flunk of a cake and you can't expect full results out of a consult unless you're doing the whole thing. In saying that though, uh, as a body worker uh, with a lot of knowledge on how the system works, our human body and even with animals, I think it's very important to understand that um, the founders of this system have worked at it for many, many years and it's amazing the results you get. It's actually quite astounding and humbling to say uh, people that I didn't know how they would go um, have finished completely and no longer need any form of treatment. So. 
Oh, that's wonderful. And that, that's something as practitioners we really are aiming for, isn't it? We want to get rid of all our clients by making them well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're an honest practitioner, that's exactly what your heart should say, yes. That's that's exactly right. So that's good to see. Now, your, your cleanit has grown enormously, hasn't it, in the last uh, four or five months uh, with the numbers of people coming through. Um, I, I mean, your infraceutical usage has skyrocketed um, from individual orders to uh how, what, what do you think your weekly orders are now well it's all around the packaging and stuff so there's um you, you know because of where we live um we have to make sure that we order a certain quantity for a certain packaging so uh, i probably on average would order around 73 infraceuticals maybe sometimes as much as double that just depending on what the week is like and um not everyone is all the time so you know according to the the week's work sort of thing yeah excellent excellent now um you're obviously sharing scans with your with your clients are, are they uh actively taking part in remote scanning as well has that been a, a growth area for your clinic being able to provide that yeah i think the remote scans are good you do spend quite a lot more time explaining things um some people are so unwell that they're unable to actually or they're not really interested or not able they don't have the energy to look through a scan they're just asking what do i need to do um and then you give them the what they have to do other people um are really keen they want to know all about the scan. They're actually excited. They look forward to the next time they're doing a scan. They really want to know what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, I think the distant um, scanning is no different to in the flesh in the fact that they um, have a scanner. They purchase a scanner from me. I then get it delivered to the home and they connect through their computer system. Um, and, yeah, Ness have got a very um, awesome why I've been able to connect that to my computer and then I we connect Excellent. over phone and have that consultation. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, your clinic has also gone through some changes of where you're treating, aren't you? Because originally you were treating at home and now you've bridged out to, to go to various places. Do you want to share how that's changed? Because you had a chiropractor, I think, that was attracted to what you were doing, having done a couple of talks. Yeah, well, I did. I've always had a mobile clinic, and I've also had a day clinic um, up in the city. Um, because I live out in the country a bit, um, I've always tried to make myself, a pro, um, you know, where people could find me. So when I finished that last year, I didn't have Ness, and then Ness has come along, um, and I did meet up with another practitioner who's invited me into the her space, and um, that's been good in the fact that people are now able to um, connect with me. Um, I guess in a more professional manner um, that's definitely helped you know with a you know, I guess you know a more formal sort of a, a situation. Now you you did um, some public talks I believe um, to different groups? Yeah I do a public talk r roughly once a fortnight once a month depending on how busy I am and I basically show them a the scanning system and I run through some basic facts and I run through a lot of the feel goods. The feel feel good infraceuticals are probably something that I that really support the treatments that we do. Um, and speaking of support, serial support would have to be second to none. It's a hundred percent satisfactory and any time I've got a sticky case or something that I'm not sure of, um, either SMS him or email him and he's right there to communicate back. Um, what the necessary directions are so that's also been amazing <laughs> thank you very much Adele um, but the team the team also in the office and uh, the rest of the team here have all all uh, pitched in on, on every occasion yeah, they're amazing. yeah everyone is amazing that's um, like over at there when you're doing ordering um, the ladies there are, are also are, are absolutely amazing it was just more meaning technical support um, is more serious sort of field hmm. Mind you, you've also made use of the UK office when required. Uh, Paul Capper and the team there have helped you out with different uh, issues as well. So you've, re you've really exper exper experienced, should I say, uh, uh, Ness globally uh, supporting practitioners. Yeah, I think I would have to say that the customer service from Ness across the board has been absolutely amazing and I'm really um, impressed 
with the books and the CDs that come with Ness as well. They've been extremely helpful. And even the podcasts that are online um, and the training I did over in Melbourne, um, all of those things were extremely helpful. Um, yeah, I think if you're going to do, if you were interested in looking at Ness, um, just the trial period is a sure time to tell if it's your thing or not. In fact, uh, we were speaking earlier, weren't we? And you, you said that when you started the trial and knew about the Melbourne training, the fact that you're in Western Australia meant it was an expensive flight and a commitment of time and travel. And you didn't see at the beginning of the trial how that would be possible. And um, by halfway through, I think having the system actually had paid for the opportunity to, for you to do that. Wasn't that roughly as it went? Yeah, I must say the first four weeks was uh, a bit of a blur. I had a lot of intake of um, interested people and um, a lot of success with a lot of people and hence I was able to then go and do the training. I sort of said to Cyril at the very last um, that I would be able to come and it was just simply from working really, really hard with a lot of people and a lot of happy clients and then being able to afford to go over to... Um, Melbourne with accommodation and you know, air travel and all the rest of it. So Now, the growth in your clinic, do you find that that's a, a mixture of from other practitioners sending you people or is it purely from your current clients getting results and wanting to bring family members in or is it from the talks uh, as, a, as a main element? What, what are the tools that you're finding are useful to build your clinic and um, have, have added to the growth? I must say the talks are definitely number one um, and then customer satisfaction with uh, referrals from people that they know. So I also do animals and I've had a lot of um, excellent referrals from that field because animals respond very, very quickly as well. So I definitely think, yeah, the talks um, and they're, they're, the talks are very easy. You're just explaining the scan as you know it to be. Um, and yeah, people haven't seen anything quite like it. I must say that when, if you're looking at um, a scanning system, there's a lot of scanning systems out there and I was extremely sceptical um, of Ness prior to joining simply because there's many scanning systems that are, you know, they come and go um, and it took me a long time to truly believe Ness was all that, all that it is today. Um, but I'm still um, dumbfounded by the amazing results that I keep getting, um, you know, every time we treat people. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's wonderful news. One, and it's, it sort of validates uh, what, what people are doing globally with the Nest system. Um, so your clinic has rapidly grown and become um, financial with the Nest system. You're currently working... Um, a few days a week in the city and I presume some some days mobile as well what's what do you see as the future for you in Ness um, and how you're developing do you want to have a, a standalone clinic in the city or what what types of growth can you see um, taking on other practitioners or how do you how do you envisage your future with Ness um, I think that you can, it's definitely only going to grow. I think for you've got to find what you... John D. Martini talks about a lot about um, finding out who you are and what makes you tick, and I really love variety. So I don't think I would ever be five full days in one place. Um, I would encourage um, anyone to find out whether they like stable one-spot type clinic or I do really enjoy going out and seeing the animals and doing that thing, having some come into the clinic, having a day or two in a professional clinic, and then I do quite a lot of distant calls as well. So I love the variety, and I'll probably always keep that variety um, as I grow. I'll still keep certain days for certain kinds of clients. Wonderful. Um, do you have any uh, uh, feel-good stories? Can you tell us um, uh, maybe some of your clients w that had dramatic change that maybe they weren't expecting or you, you were curious about how it would turn out? Yeah, so I had um, one gentleman come to me with quite a severe health uh, condition um, and his one comment to me was that he had um, – been coughing up black dust. Now, that gentleman had been a smoker for, I think, 40 or 50 odd years, and this was after his first lot of emphaceuticals, which I think from memory were only three, 
bottles. That's what he was able to um, work in with his finances. And so I realized that was, I think, in the second week of my trial, I realized then there were some things far beyond my knowledge um, and any study that I had done that were going to change people's um, wellness. And um, I think the, the thing that Cyril often used to say to me is just follow the scan and I would just about scream at him because I'd think, well, how on the earth, how boring. But truly following the scan seems to prove wonderful results and I just must say the simplicity of Ness is really what keeps you going and, and sustains you through seeing many, many clients. Yeah, so I had a gentleman that could, um, one particular client over um, overseas has been seeing me now for four times uh, for consultations and um, that's a distant uh, client. He's had, um, I think, his normal set of five and an extra three um, Infoceutical specifically honed in around his condition. Um, he has a, quite a lot of complaints, um, and particular one of them is his energy uh, is very low. His sleep is atrocious. He's always getting up to go um, to urinate, and generally is unable to assist in day-to-day -day life. And only after one consultation, we found that he was able to carry uh, shopping up from the our garage, uh, which normally he would have been able to stagger into the house. So that was only after one consult. I think on his second one, he commented of things of being able to hear certain sounds that uh, he hadn't been able to hear before and what was the noises. Um, and then on his third one, being able to breathe better, walk better, um, originally only able to take five steps and now able to take uh, be able to walk very well even around a shopping centre where normally he'd sit in the car and just wait. So, uh, and the last comment was that he was able to sleep without disturbances of going to urinate um, and get up at a more reasonable time. And I think we all know that having a decent sleep um, pertains to excellent day quality. Um, so, yeah, that's two case studies that I'm very impressed with. That's wonderful. So that's a huge change for that person. And it sounds like he was in a situation where he would potentially have gone down and downhill, only being able to take a few steps and not being able to um, sleep and breathe properly. So, um, And to have his senses literally reignited, he can hear again and and breathe again and be able to walk. That's, that's just magical. Well done. Um, that's that's a wonderful result. Um, any any others you'd like to share with us? Well, just adding to that one in particular, I think you know when you've got a lung capacity and it's um, you know you know that you're not able to breathe correctly um, as you would once upon a time been able to do. Um, he's able to walk down a hill and then turn around and be able to walk back up a hill, and I think that is a huge um, change. For a person in, in their latter years to have quality of life um, is an amazing thing, not just for his wife, but also for himself and also for his his children uh, who are also in the middle part of their life. So um, another case I think that's pretty exciting is um, an, animals, um, like a dog in particular uh, that's just come, had gone from being extremely active that's now eight years old um, had um, a condition whereby its its back leg was dragging and unable to walk correctly, um, sleeping a lot, and only after one consult I was rolling over on its back and starting to walk correctly, um, much, much happier and playing with the other animals. Um, and then after its second consult, I think we noticed things like... Um, just more of that drinking more um, playing more with the other animals and having full use of standing on both back legs so that that I uh, I do recall Cyril saying only three infoceuticals for animals because they respond very quickly and that I, I still follow today I only give animals um, a, a lesser dose five normally for humans um, of general infoceuticals and three for animals and I find that works really really well um, if the animal's extremely stressed, then I'll give ESR as a top up. But yeah, that's on on the whole. That's generally what we use. Brilliant, brilliant. 
Look, thank you so much for sharing the experience, and I'm sure sh I'm sure you're going to go from strength to strength. Um, it's been an exciting first six months, so congratulations. Um, we're very glad to have you on board with Ness. Thank you, Sarah.